Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Jerry and I'm with 3DHP. Today we're going to set up your Auteur rotary roller with your Auteur Laser Master 3. And assuming that you've already turned on your laser, have it all turned on, you have your rotary plugged in, and you, and you flip the switch in the back to the YRR, and now we'll jump right in the light burn, and here we go. First thing you want to do is you want to go up to your edit tab, go down to settings, and right here, show rotary enabled on main window. We want to turn that on. And we'll click OK. Now we'll go back up to edit, machine settings. And the first thing we want to do is you want to save your settings before you make changes so you don't accidentally mess something up and you don't know how to put it back. So let's hit save the file. And in my case, I'm going to put it in my backup folder under Lightburn. I'm going to call this default. I'm going to call it Default Rotary. I'm going to hit Save. Now under Homing and Limits, where you got your soft limits here, you want to turn this to false. In your homing cycle, you want that also to be false. Now we're going to save these settings also. And I'm going to call this one Oter Rotary. In case I should ever use have a different machine loaded with a different rotary. I'll know which was for which. Not that it really matters. But it's only two options. You're changing. Okay, now that we've changed those two items, we're going to write it to the controller. It has been written. And we click OK. And now you have two default uh, profiles saved. Your default and then your rotary settings. And it's very easy to switch between them. Okay, next thing we want to do I'm going to go back up to Edit, Device Settings. We want to turn off Auto Home on Startup. Since we're going to be working on the rotary in the middle of the bed, we don't want it to automatically Auto Home. We will manually position it where we want it when we go to Start. So we turn off Auto Home on Startup and hit OK. And we have Enable Rotary right here. We're going to turn that on. That's turned on right down here. And at the very bottom of the screen, uh, enable mode, it says rotary right down here. Next thing we're going to do is go to your tools menu. Actually, we don't need to do that. They have it right here on the top. They put laser tools on the top. Okay. Uh, back under laser tools, rotary setup. Now, I had experimented a couple times, and I had to change my number here. You'll see in the first test, I had 160 millimeters per rotation and I was slightly over so then I changed that down to 158. This number here you'll have to experiment with to get it just right when you go to do a test burn and get exactly where you want it. And um, my object diameter is 70.50 millimeters. This is a number you want to remember you want to copy and paste for the next step. So I'll click OK. As you can see for my height 74.5 millimeters is what I typed in like you've seen on the prior page and the width is going to be four millimeters for my test. Now I had to do a little, a little bit of experimenting here to get it right, but I'm going to go with a speed of uh, 800 millimeters a minute at 50% power since I'm working with this Auteur 10 watt laser. It's going to be one pass and uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, get that going. Now one thing when you start that, when you first hit the start button, you're going to get this out of bounds warning. Disregard that, it's no big deal. Just click uh, yes and uh, move on.
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. We're going to put that on my T1 layer tool path. It will not cut. And the size that we're going to make that is a, let's see, 47.50 on height. And the width is 120 millimeters. And let's see if we're going to import a picture. You can find random pictures online. You can buy them on Etsy. There's many different places you can find pictures. Let's go with this one right here. See that a little bit better. Okay, tool path. The area that we figured out on that particular cylinder is 74.50 and the height of 120. That's going to wrap this image all the way around it. So I kind of like that where it's at. Uh, I'm not going to frame it. I don't need to. Let me turn that off. Uh, image 900, the speed and 80% power. I think that'll be good. That's just kind of a guess. I think it's going to come out really good. Okay, let me highlight the whole thing again. And we'll go up here to um, preview it. So it's going to take one hour and 31 minutes. It's not too bad. And since I'm working with all black, this way the eyes will be black, the skull will be silver, since my container is silver underneath all the black paint. And that's going to look pretty good. And let's see. Speed's going to be 900 millimeters a minute, 80% power. You can make the changes right here by double clicking on this line, or you can simply make the changes right down here. Either or. Bi directional scanning, negative image is turned on. Dither. And that's going to look pretty good, guys. So. We're ready to rock and roll. And also, if you, just, you don't have to wrap an image all the way around it. Since we know this is my area all the way around the cylinder here, you know, you can make this any size you want. You just have an object on the top, the bottom, multiple, however, depending on however you want to do it. But here we go. Some of the information that I used today was from the LA Hobby Guy. I'll have a link below to his great YouTube channel. He put out a PDF around a year ago with a video on how to set up a rotary with the Auteur laser. Uh, that was a different model and light burners came out with more upgrades since then. So not everything applied. I had to change some settings here and there and figure a few things out. But my work was based off his channel and things I had learned on his channel. And thank you very much for Navarre 3D for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Trevor with Navarre 3D in Navarre, Florida. And the Mariester Mall has tons of laser, had lots of laser equipment. He has LM3, uh, he's got the rotary, he has uh, resin, he's got filament, he's got printers, a little bit of anything and everything. I'll link below where you can find him at online. And uh, also check out his store if you're in the area around Florida. Um, yeah, a great man. Uh, him and his wife run the company. and. Uh, yeah, excellent. So thank you very much, everybody. You have an awesome day, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. I'll be back here probably in about a week, and I'll have another great video coming out with uh, more rotary stuff and laser stuff on the Auteur Laser Master 3. Thank you very much. Have an awesome day, everybody. Later.